Hello friends, Namaste. So today we are back with one more problem. So the, the problem which has been given over here is a, it is a, a cylinder of base diameter 40 mm and axis height is how much 60 mm as its axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to EVP. So this is the data which is required for us to write the initial condition. I have written the same thing is over here. A cylinder of base is how much? Uh, 40 mm dia and 60 mm length so uh, we are going to write the corresponding top view and front view okay. so which is been shown over here so i drawn a, a circle of diameter is how much 40 mm and this circle see in the cylinder how many corners does it have how many edges does it have it does not have any corners and any edges so for our reference we are divided the circle into how many parts into eight equal parts and we are given the name as one two three four five six seven and eight after that i have drawn a corresponding front view see here how many generators are visible see one dash one dash is also generator two dash and two dash is generator three dash and three dash is the generator like that so there are totally how many generators are this eight generators are this then out of eight generators one two three four five generators are visible so that's why i have written the same way and the invisible generators are been uh, located inside the bracket or inside the parenthesis now let us write the development of this given cylinder first we are writing the development of the cylinder so for that I have written a parallel line and I have located 1 and 1. Now so what will be the see we don't have any edges right. So that's why what we are going to take we are going to take the circumference of the circle that is given by how much 2 pi r. So how much is the 2 pi r 2 into 3.14 2 into 20. So that I am getting approximately equal to 126. See, we have to divide the circle into how many parts, how many equal parts, we have to divide this into 8 equal parts. So, for that what I have done is 126 divided by 8, it is coming how much? 15.75, approximately measure uh, 15.75 with the help of scale and compass. 15.75. Approximately, I am going to take the measurement of uh, 15.7 approximately. Okay, so next take the measurement from 1 to 2, cut the arc 2 to 3, cut the arc 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8. 8 to back to 1. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, this one is 5, 6, 7, 8 and back to 1. One second back to 1 as we have done in the previous cases. So now I am going to draw the vertical lines, thin lines. It must be thin lines. 3. So this one is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and this one is 1. So this one is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 1. See this is the development of what? Of the given cylinder. Now since there, the, there is another condition has been given in the problem. What is the condition which has been given? The section plane about the section plane is in at an angle of how much? Here 45 degree to axis or HP. It is 45 degree to HP and bisecting the axis. What is the meaning of bisecting means? It is dividing the axis into two equal parts. Okay. So what is the length of the axis I given? 60. Okay, therefore half means I am going to measure 30 mm from the base. I am going to mark this one 30 and later I am going to draw the horizontal line 
and I am going to mark how much. So this is a thirty. Next, they are telling that the section plane is inclining at an angle of forty-five degree to HP. So I am from this point. I am going to measure how much forty-five degree. Later words, I am going to join this. Okay, how to draw the axis section plane? Large line. Followed by small line, large line, small line, large line, small line, large line, small line. Okay, so this is how we are going to draw the axis line. And as I told, only the end of the section plane must be dark, and I am going to locate the arrow mark downwards. Do downwards means we are going to retain the lower portion of the. Which one? Lower portion of the solid. Okay. And what is the measurement of this? We also draw this the measurement. So it is equal to how much? One twenty six mm. Now we need to locate all the uh, points where this section plane is cutting. So this section plane is cutting one dash and one dash at A dash. Here it will be called as B dash, and here it is three dash, four dash. Sorry, B dash, C dash, D dash means between four and four. Next five means it is E. Next. Uh, it is cutting the section plane six dash and six dash. At E, I mean, e, after E dash, it is F dash. And here we have one more uh, generator that is a seven dash and seven dash. This will be G dash. Here we have another one eight dash and eight dash, and it will be H dash. So we need to locate all this. Reference points. So I am going to take the measurement from one to a dash. Okay, one to a dash. What is this? This is a dash, and here also I am having one one one. So this is also a dash. This is a dash, and this is also a dash. Now take the measurement from two to b. Two to b dash. Where is the two? This is a two to b dash. And it is also equal to eight to h. Where is eight? Eight to h. So this represents b dash. This represents h dash. Next year three to c. Three to c. And also it is equal to seven to g. Seven to g. So this one is c dash. And this one is G dash. Next, four to D, four to D, four to F. Okay, sorry, six to F. So this one is D dash, and this one is what? F dash. So next, finally, we have to locate which one. So here five is not written, right? Five dash. So five dash to e dash. Five dash to e dash. Okay. So this one is e dash. Got this one. Now I located all the uh, reference points where the section plane is cutting the. Cylinder. So now, how many edges does it have? It does not have any edges. Therefore, we need to join all these reference points with a smooth curve. Okay, we need to join this with the help of what? Smooth curve. Don't make it straight line. It is not a straight line. Just it must be a smooth curve like this. Okay, and after that you need to make it 
dark okay my friends and it does not have any edges only the end must be dark and this bottom must be dark okay and here the bottom portion must be dark okay so this is the development of a given truncated cylinder that means so that is a cutted cylinder okay i hope you got it thank you namaste